Uh, they are not good at all. But uh, everybody out and about, let's go first of all now to uh, Val Castor, Val and Amy Castor. Val, exact location. You're looking off to the north there. This is going to be south of Guthrie between Edmond and Guthrie. Give us an update on that. Let's go to Val Castor's shot. Take his shot full screen. Let's bring him in here and talk to Val. And uh, Val, go ahead. Give us an update. Oh, yeah, David. So this is going to be about a half a mile north of the 177 exit on I-35 northbound um, is where we're looking. But the, the, the accident is actually in the southbound lane. It's the bridge that goes over Triplet Road. And there's a car hauler there, and he is completely blocking the whole southbound road. Now, I'm not for certain. This might be a fatality accident. I'm not for certain on that. We've had uh, some reports possibly that could be. Uh, but this is so bad, David, that they have got I-35 southbound completely shut down. There's no cars getting through. It, it's closed. Back to you. Yeah, well, that's a bad deal for sure. Wow, look at that shot there from Val and Amy Castor. Southbound I-35, south of Guthrie, completely closed. You can just look at your screen and see that. Let's go to Jeremy. He is right across the uh, highway from the accident. And uh, look at that shot. Boy, I tell you what, it's, it's a slow go. They're going to get it out of there, but it's going to take a while. Jeremy, go ahead. Give us an update. If you got tow trucks here, you can see what they're doing. It don't appear to be a multiple accident or vehicle accident. I'm sorry. But uh, what it looks like is just a car hauler here, went sideways. And the thing is, is the roads are just as slick as snot out here, David. Uh, you can fall down just trying to walk. Back to you. Yeah, so roads are much worse from Edmond up I-35 through all of northern Oklahoma. Oklahoma City roads are slick in spots, but you get to Edmond north, it's bad. Let's go to Links 3 now. Great job there, guys. And road conditions, again, we're calling it slick and hazardous from Oklahoma City north, especially, again, once you get into the north metro, into northern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma is a mess. We've had at least two fatalities today due to this Siberian freight train of cold and freezing drizzle and snow. It's just been a mess. Look at these temperatures right now. Dangerous cold underway. Three above zero. That's not the wind chill. That's the temperature in Oklahoma City. Two below in Woodward. One below in Ponca City. North winds in Oklahoma City still gusting to nearly 50 miles per hour. Some gusts in the southwest to over 50. Wind chills. Dangerous cold. 20 to nearly 30 below zero. The real heavy snow is in northern and northeastern Oklahoma. And again, heavy snow now up north. For the metro, Light snow, we have bands of moderate snow from time to time. It's blowing snow. This is going to go on for the rest of the morning. And see these bands that pop up? They go pop up, they go away. And this will continue for a while, all right? You folks in southwestern Oklahoma, light snow down here in flurries. Nothing too crazy. We have moderate snow now between Buffalo and Freedom. Moderate to heavy snow where Marty is in Medford to Lamont to Blackwell. Let's go to Marty Logan's shot control room. Let's bring Marty in here and talk to Marty Logan. Let's bring him in. And he's going to be just south of Medford. And Marty, nearly whiteout conditions now up near Medford. Look at your shot. Wow. Yeah, you can see those vehicles. Look at them. They're disappearing at a quarter mile to my east. We're three miles west of Pond Creek. You're looking east. We have near whiteout conditions. Earlier when you and I were talking, it was whiteout. So a uh, very bad situation up here. Moderate snowfall. And it has dropped to, you know what? It's dropped to zero degrees up here. Back to you. Zero, right? Not North Dakota, not Nebraska, but uh, again, up near north of Enon, near Medford. All right, so wow. Let's go back to Link Street. The heaviest snow now where Marty is over through Lamont, Blackwell, Bremen, Ponca City. You're going to get some good snow. You'll get a good solid inch out of this, maybe locally two inches, and this will spill into northeastern Oklahoma as we get into this morning and also into the afternoon. Southern Oklahoma, flurries and light snow there. Over 10, or just now under 10,000 customers without power because of the wind that's been going on. That's quite a few. And it's five below in Wichita. It's 10 below in North Platte. It's three again in Oklahoma City, 22 below zero right now. That's the wind chill in Oklahoma City. And remember, frostbite, it can set in in 15 minutes or less with wind chills as cold as they are. We're tracking it, trackers are out, weather team is in. We're going to take a break. Stay